Okay. We're gonna have to talk up a little bit. Sure, no problem. We're loud. Occupy PC Media. National Anthem. Can you guys introduce yourself? Yeah, absolutely. You go first. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Amar Sunbuli from Sac Chicago. We have a few technical problems. My name is Rakan Alhosh and I'm from Sac, New Jersey. Okay, and what's going on here today? We agree. Uh, we're here today uh, to celebrate the one year anniversary of the Syrian Revolution. Uh, it's been a year now that our people have been going out protesting for freedom and they've been killed. And uh, we're not here to mourn, we're here to celebrate because we got our freedom even though we paid a high price. And we are we want to ask the U.S. government to tell them that we are American citizens. And the effects of what's going on in Syria. And we just want them to take action to stop the killing in Syria. To take action to stop the killing. People are dying because they don't have weapons to fight back. There's a free Syrian army, but they have weak weapons. They're killing civilians. They're killing civilians. They're, they're, they're raping little girls. We just want a humanitarian corridor for the Syrian people and a safe, a safe, a safe zone. That's what we're asking. I'm sure you guys have heard in Jordan in Turkey, they're having trouble getting aid to the refugees. So, you know, for myself, from being involved in the Occupy Media, we're trying to encourage them to, at the very least, you know, help facilitate some of the humanitarian aid. As far as Jordan and Turkey, they're pretty well taken care of as far as the government. They really need medical supplies and they need doctors for people who are coming to Egypt. As far as refugees, the worst are the ones that are in Lebanon. They have no food, they have no clothing, they have no medical aid, they have no doctors, and it's not even safe because they're surrounded by Hezbollah fighters.